In this video, we're going to go ahead and replace our AC condenser. Before tackling this job, you definitely want to have it professionally evacuated. Want to get open up your hood, and we're going to start by removing our upper cover here. I'm going to go ahead and use our Phillips head screwdriver, pop out that center, and then pop out the plastic clip. We're missing a couple here. And if it doesn't have the Phillips head screw, you can usually press in on the center. You can hear that pop in. Use your trim tool. I'm going to pop that button out. Repeat that process through the rest of these clips. Once you have all those clips out, you would just want to go ahead and lift up on this cover and set it aside. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna remove the two bolts right here holding our intake tube. Now on the side of our air intake right here, there's gonna be a couple vacuum ports or vacuum hoses. Just pop those out of the clips. And on the side right here, there's going to be two plastic retainers. On the bottom side, there's going to be two little pinch tabs on there. I'm going to go ahead and use our needle nose pliers and undo those clips. I'm just going to pinch on that and push that up and out. And do the same for the other one underneath here. And go ahead and remove this piece, set it aside. I'm gonna go ahead and remove our radiator support here. There's a series of 10 millimeter bolts we're gonna go ahead and remove. Now we're removing our hood latch as well. Just gonna loosen that and get in the back here. This is gonna unbolt the center beam from the radiator support. On the ends, we have a couple bolts. We want to go ahead and unbolt our horns from the support as well. So let's go ahead and get those bolts out. These are a 12 millimeter gear wrench to go ahead and loosen and remove these. And just let the horns droop on down there. They're not gonna go anywhere. If you want to, you can disconnect the electrical connectors from them and put them on your bench. And right here on the top, there's a plastic clip holding our herd release cable to the bottom side. So we're just gonna use our needle nose pliers, gently pinch that and drop that down in. Go ahead and lift up on our support. I'm gonna go ahead and finish removing that bolt down here for our Hood release bracket. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this connector right here. This is just a single spring tab on the front side of it. You know, push that in and then disconnect the connector.
go ahead and bring your hood release latch up. Set that aside. Now between the grill and your AC condenser, you're gonna find the plastic trim right here. You wanna try and work this out and off. And you release this here. What you're doing is you're just connecting these little plastic tabs along the sides. Go ahead and set this aside. On the driver's side, you're gonna have one of these covers as well. Go ahead and pop that unit out. Set that aside. We're gonna use our 10 millimeter gear wrench and we're gonna remove these two bolts and we're gonna disconnect our AC lines from our condenser. There are gonna be rubber O-rings inside here, sealing these units, you wanna be careful of those. Remove the upper bolt, set that aside. We're gonna go ahead and remove our lower bolt. Our gear wrench is a little bit too thick to fit in there, so we're gonna use a socket and ratchet. Remove that bolt and we'll set that one aside. With the bolts removed, we're gonna try and remove these here. Now there might be a slight bit of pressure left in there, but it shouldn't be anything crazy. Just grab those here and gently wiggle it and work that out. Now our four 10 millimeter bolts holding our AC condenser to our radiator. There's two right across the top, one here, there's one here, and there's two directly down right in line with the existing upper bolt. So let's go ahead, loosen and remove those. Go ahead and get the other one. You can grab that AC condenser, pull it straight up and out. Go ahead and take your new condenser, we'll slide that down in place. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the upper bolts caught first. Once these are caught, then the lower should line right up. Those little tabs notched out here to fit into our radiator. So we're going to get that lined up, pop that in, get our upper bolt started. Just put them in loosely. Once we have these in, we'll go ahead and do the same for the bottom. What you might have to do to get these started is grab the side of the radiator with the condenser and lift it up a little bit. That way there you can get the bolts to line up. There we go, got that one started. Do the same for the other side. Now let's go ahead and snug up that lower bolt. You just want to snug them. You don't want to make these super, super tight. And come on up to the upper ones. bottomed out. We'll go ahead and install our 
AC lines here. Go ahead and pop these in. You want to make sure those rubber O-rings are in good condition. If they're split or see any sort of damage on them, you want to go ahead and replace those now. Ours were in good shape, so we're able to pop those back in. Now that we have both of our bolts started for our AC lines, we're just going to use our hand ratchet and we're just going to go ahead and snug those down. Once that's seated, just want to give it a little bit more. You want to make sure that this flange is seated perfectly flush with this other unit here. I'm going to go ahead and do the same on the bottom. All right, we have that bottom one snug. Just double check that top one. Both of our flanges are nice and tight, sealed up good. All right, install our air diverters here. support down in a place. Go ahead and start to install some of your bolts here. Snug this down in a place. Once the bolt bottoms out, just a little bit more. I'm gonna loosen that one there and push this bracket down. Once that bolt bottoms out, just a little bit more. Let's continue through the rest. Go ahead and line up our hood latch here. I'm gonna get these bolts started. All right, once we get all three of those started, let's go ahead and snug those down. Install our connector. Just press this on. You hear it and feel it snap into place. And install our horns. Now, once that's tight, I'm going to go ahead and repeat for the other side. I want to get install our intake here. Slide that onto the air box. The bottom should line up with the bottom of that air intake tube. We're going to 
install our vacuum hose here. And on the right side, we have two clips for vacuum hoses here and here. Pop those in. Let's get our hardware installed right here. Go ahead and snug down these bolts. Now this is just plastic, you don't have to make it super tight. Once that bolt bottoms out, just a little bit more. Bolt those bottomed out, that's good. I'm gonna put on our cover right here. Once we have a radiator cover installed, let's go ahead and install our plastic push pins. And we'll just continue this across the whole top. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.